The team draw event is here, but is this event any good and how should you spend these tickets if you get them? Well, stick around in this video as I break down the math for you. What's up everybody, Psych out here with another Rise of Kingdoms video. The team draw event is here and we've had this event before, but this time it is very, very different. There's all kinds of different stuff going on with this team draw. Uh, there's different amounts of tickets in the bundles. How the draws work is a little different. So we really need to be starting over. Last time the team draw event was one of those where you kind of got wrecked on the draws and what you wanted to do was save your gems, but spoiler alert, this time it's totally different and there seems to be a lot of value in participating in the team draw event. So in this video, I'm gonna break it all down for you and tell you, give you all the math. Uh, but first I wanna point out something that's a little bit funny here. Uh, at least I think it's a little bit funny. If we go to the bundles, and the, and the bundles do vary uh, in terms of how many tickets they give you. It, it, but at tier one, it looks like they give you the exact same stuff. So, so check it out here. Here's the Easter's goodie bundle. Gives you one ticket. It gives you um, seven of each of these resources, but three of the gold, 84 five minute speed ups, um, and 525 VIP. Okay, so, so that's a pretty standard the tier one of the bundle. But now let's go over here to the super value bundle and we see the same thing. You get one scroll, you get seven times each of those resources, three of the gold, 84 five minute speed ups and 525 VIP, 1050 gems. Okay, that's all cool. Now I want you to take note of the number here. It says receive 1050 gems and 500, or sorry, 5,555 gems worth of items. So the movable feast bundle says that the, all of these items here are worth 5,555 gems. Let's go back to the Easter goodies bundle. Remember, it's the exact same amount of stuff. And it says this is worth 8,054 gems. So which is it? I don't really know. Uh, but I do know that as we go up, as you go up in the bundles, uh, the number of tickets are different. So the Easter's goodies bundle does seem to give more of these uh, Imperial scrolls um, at the higher levels, the higher levels of the, uh, of, of this bundle over here, the movable feast bundle does not seem to give as, as many at the, at the highest levels. Okay. So that's all I wanted to say about that. Um, if you are spending in this game, it does seem like this event does have a lot of value. I'm going to jump over into the team draw event itself so we can get a look at how this works. So, um, a couple of things here I think that are worth noting. First of all, you can even play this as a free to play, but you have to have gems, right? So you can purchase gems on the team event draw page. So here they are. You can purchase 10 of these per day, uh, 5,000 gems per day. Uh, this event runs for three days. So a total of 15,000 gems uh, you can buy into this. Now, if you max purchase the bundles and you buy all of these with gems, I think that gives you 133 tickets, which is basically 266 draws in the team draw event. So 266 chances to get the things you might want to get. Now, let's jump in here to the event itself and see what this event is like. So you can pick commanders and I've already done that commander selection part. Um, there's other videos out there showing how you can select the commanders. For whatever reason, it only allows you to select one of the tier two commanders. Not exactly sure why, but I don't really care. Uh, at the end of the day, these are the commanders I actually care the most about getting Nebuchadnezzar, Trajan, and Guan Yu. I'd like to um, sort of increase the, the, the or get them closer and closer to expertise for all three of these. So, so those are the commanders I've selected. They're the three that make the most sense for me to select. I have no regrets about that at all. Uh, and then the event uh, is played uh, by, you know, uh, putting some tickets in and, and drawing there. So uh, the weird thing is if I click up here, okay, so yes, here we go. I can I can get these, but it's just kind of a weird thing. It's, it makes it look like you have to purchase them, but you can purchase them from the bundles as well. So, okay, um, that's sort of how this event works. So the question is how much value is there in this event? And I'm gonna try to pop up onto the screen here a couple of different charts for you to check it out. But one of the first charts, and I'm gonna pull it over here so I can see it myself as well. The first one I'm gonna show you is the probability of getting these commanders and the total expected value per draw. Um, and, and by draw, it's it's not really fair. It's, it's really, um, yeah, so you get two draws per ticket. So then you have to double all of that. And so anyway, what I'm showing here is the total expected value per draw, which is about um, 0.37 commanders per draw. That is about 7.73 commanders per ticket. 
And if we think of each ticket as being 500 gems, because that's what it costs us right here if we go to this, 500 gems per ticket. So even free to play can get 30 of these at 500 gems a pop. Um, that is 680 uh, gems per commander sculpture. If we do the math, um, we got 30 tickets, that gives us 60 total draws. And, and we figure out how many would we expect to get with that. In fact, if we do 30 tickets, I think it's around 20, yes, around 22 commander sculptures you would expect to get on average. Of course, some people will get more, some people will get less uh, as part of the team draw. The probabilities are all given here, and that's what I've put into, into this into the spreadsheet that you see here on the screen. So um, if you do, if you max purchase the bundle, if you go for uh, 133 uh, that you can get, or 103 from the max purchase bundle, and then you use the gems, which I do recommend here, uh, you can get, you would expect to get about 97, 98 commander sculptures on average. So how does this event compare to other events? Uh, the reality is it is actually very, very, very good. This is a very high EV event. If you care about getting commander sculptures, there's other things in here. You can get some blue materials as well. But look, if you only focus on commander sculptures, let's compare this to other events in Rise of Kingdoms. And I want to give a shout out to King Hu, who helped with the math, some of the math that I just showed up on the screen there. He confirmed some of the math that I was doing, but he also shared with me some of the math he has done previously on the Wheel of Fortune. We worked our way through that to help compare uh, which of these is uh, sort of more valuable. And uh, and King Hu or K-Dub uh, from Kingdom 254 uh, helped out with us. So shout out to him. Um, a couple of things I'm going to pop up here also on the screen and another screenshot here. This is the uh, Wheel of Fortune, what you might expect to get for 10 spins, 25 spins, uh, 45 spins, 70 spins, 100 spins. And uh, again, thanks to K-Dub for doing the work for me because what I do is kind of crazy and uh, max spin some of these wheels. So when you go all the way up to 186 spins, what is the actual expected value in terms of gems? How many gems are you spending per sculpture you're getting? And you can see that something that everybody already knows is that it's really hard to beat 10 spinning the wheel. When the wheel comes, if you 10 spin it, um, you're looking at 453 gems per sculpture, which is really, really good value. Uh, keeping in mind that the VIP shop, they cost about 2000 per universal sculpture. Uh, if you 100 spend, which is also a target, many people say that's about 752 uh, gems per sculpture. So a 10 spend, 100 spend tend to be the recommendations for Wheel of Fortune. And that is why if you do crazy things like what I do and you max spend, that's 1024 gems per sculpture. But now I'm going to pop up another chart that shows what happens if you go from 10 to 25 or 10 to 45 or 10 to 70. And you can see why going from 10 to 100 has the most value because it's only a 787 gem cost when you do that. Uh, unfortunately, if you do the crazy thing that I do and you go from 100 to 186, it's costing you about 1600 gems per, uh, per legendary commander sculpture, which is really not great value. But if you're in a hurry to level up your commanders, look, and you've got gems to spare, that is one way to go. Again, it is still cheaper. It's about 400 gems cheaper than buying them from the VIP shop. So what does all of this have to do with the team draw event? Well, what it has to do with is the value of the team draw event. So that means, look, if we're looking at 680 gems per sculpture, where does that fall compared to the Wheel of Fortune? Well, that's actually slightly better than 25 spinning the Wheel of Fortune. It's not as good as a 10 spin, but it is better than a 100 spin on the Wheel of Fortune. So this event seems to have a ton of value. Uh, my opinion, I think every single person should be playing this event, including free to play. Look, I know we've got the 7K gem event going on right now, and I know a lot of free to plays put their 7K gems into that, which they should be doing. But if you're free to play, you should also be putting 15,000 gems into this event to get your expected 22 legendary commander sculptures. It just seems to be a really good value. So um, I hope you do that. And now let's uh, let's get in there and do some team draws. All right, we picked up 37 tickets so far. I'm gonna add a, a bunch more with some gems. I'm gonna add uh, the maximum number we can. There we go. Uh, and that's it. Uh, can I add more, please? Let me add more. Okay, all right, fine. Uh, 47 uh, is what we're gonna do for now. Um, <laughs> we'll see exactly how this works. Again, I can use all three of these commanders, so uh, hoping to get the, hoping to, let's just, let, I mean, let's just jam them out. Uh, don't really care. Uh, hopefully, uh, it says estimated wait time 10 minutes. I hope it doesn't take that long to to get some people to join here. Um, okay, so we've got one, and I think what's gonna happen is they're gonna pick whatever one they want. Uh, there we go, and, and, and I'll get the rest of them, and we'll see how we do. Okay, that is not, okay, wait, I did get one of the good ones. What did I get here? Okay, a legendary commander universal sculpture. Okay, so that's, 
That seems like it's not bad. And wow. Okay, so some materials there. Okay, all right. Well, that wasn't great. Team disbanded. Okay. Uh, go back into this event. And let's do it again. This takes a lot longer than I thought it would take. I thought you could just sort of jam these out like you would with the wheel, but you have to wait. Okay, we've got a partner here. And he's taking those two. Let's see what we get. Okay, he got a double C. That looks pretty good for him, I guess. I don't know why you'd select double C, but okay. Okay, it looks like I might have got something useful. It is another universal. So I've gotten two universals so far. It feels like it's uh, poor value. Um, but uh, let's see, eight. Let, let me look here. I've used eight tickets. What would be my expected for eight tickets? Uh, I'm supposed to get a little under six. So um, yeah, so I was right. It is poor value so far. <laughs> Hopefully we'll do better on this one. Of course, you know, the value for some of these uh, is going to be when you hit those big ones. Uh, and the, the rare chances that you hit 10 or the rare chances. In, in, okay, I, did I not hit match? Okay. Uh, the rare chances that you hit 10 or, or you hit those fives are, are the ones that, that seem to give, uh, in many respects, the most value from, from this event. Boy, it does take a while longer than I thought to get these to go. Okay, took one, took two. Next time I'll try to race. Oh, okay, so he got the money one here, one of these eggs. And what did he get? He got a universal. So I'm picking up quite a few speed ups and some materials from this. And he got a Gilgamesh. Man, I am not getting the sculptures. Okay, let's go again. Four, let's go match. So maybe this will be, uh, I do the math and subsequently get wrecked. Okay, I'm gonna try to be really fast and pick, 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 pick. Oh, I can only pick one and then he has to pick one? Is that how it works? I don't know. Apparently he didn't pick any, so that will be selected for him. Okay, great. And speed ups and some materials. And what do we get here? Okay, I got a couple. I got a couple of possible good ones here. What is this? Five Nebus, that's good. And a universal, okay, all right. So not, that was, well, that was our best one yet. Let's keep going. Maybe I'll just do one more and we'll cut this video here because uh, it seems a little slow and um, frankly a little boring to sit here and watch these pop open. But uh, okay, yeah, here we go. 15 seconds. Okay, there we go. We got to take her. So obviously the key is to try to select yeah, see, I selected one, but it only lets me pick one. I think it makes him pick next. But if I keep jamming, maybe... No, I don't know what happens here. I guess since I've selected, maybe he can't select. I, I don't really understand how this works. Okay, so we got those two. And, oh, these are all mine. Oh, a Trajan and a Nebu. Okay. Oh, I see. It does the top row first, and then it does that row. Okay, so he got a Ram. And what do we get here? Another legendary. Okay, well look, uh, I still think this event has good value. I'm gonna jam out a bunch of these and um, over the next few days, we'll probably do the full 133 and get a grand total for to see how we did in the whole thing. So look, if you liked this video, if you learned something new about the Team Draw event, if you found that this gave you um, a good way to play the team draw event or just made you make a better decision about how to play the team draw event give this video a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, leave a comment down below if you think i screwed the math up or anything like that and uh, thanks so much for coming by and i'll see you all in the next one